Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. The Deliverance Lee Daniels' latest film made a splash on Netflix, quickly becoming the number one movie on the platform. However, its rise to fame was marred by significant controversy, primarily centered around Glenn Close's character, Alberta. The film portrays the Jackson family's struggles as they attempt to start anew in a haunted house, but it explores much darker themes lurking beneath the surface. At its core, the deliverance dives into the cycles of intergenerational abuse, particularly through the character of Ebony, played by Andra Day, who battles the demons of her past. The film takes a gut-wrenching turn when Ebony reveals to a pastor that she was sexually assaulted as a child with her mother's consent. This shocking moment illustrates not only the trauma that has shaped her life but frames Alberta's negligent mothering as a central issue in Ebony's alcoholism. Here, the deliverance sets the stage to question how trauma impacts future generations. As these secrets unfold, viewers grapple with the complicated relationship between Ebony and Alberta, filled with tension and unresolved feelings. Yet, in the film's climax, the exorcism scene seems to undermine this intricately woven narrative. Rather than addressing the emotional fallout of Ebony's confession, the film pivots to frame Alberta, a mother who allowed her daughter to be abused as a celestial figure guiding her child to salvation. This tonal shift feels disrespectful to the real horrors depicted earlier, transforming Alberta into an almost angelic presence without adequately addressing her past actions. Ebony's journey towards potential forgiveness for Alberta and the deeper explorations of guilt and redemption are dismissed, leaving audiences grappling with the implications of the story's resolution. As the film concludes, with Ebony driving off to reunite with her husband and children, the supposed hopeful ending rings hollow. Despite a veneer of positivity, the earlier displayed abusive behaviors from both mothers linger, leaving viewers questioning the integrity of the narrative. Ultimately, the deliverance struggles to balance its heavy themes of abuse, faith, and forgiveness, opting for a simplistic resolution that neglects the nuances of its characters' experiences. This decision diminishes the profound questions it raises throughout the film leading to an unsatisfying closing that feels incongruent with the depth of its story. As a viewer, you're left to wonder, how does one truly forgive an abuser who has yet to confront their own failings? It's a question deserving of careful exploration, and it's a missed opportunity for an ending that could have resonated deeply instead of wrapping up with a neat bow. For those interested, The Deliverance is currently streaming on Netflix. Every